So yeah, we're going to be progressively slower. <laughs> Good thing we killed off all those giant flies earlier. Yeah. Jesus Christ, those things. <laughs> you have to wonder who at the development table was thinking of the, what was thinking when they thought, "Hey, fly monsters." <laughs> That's a great idea. It's like, I can understand tarantulas. I can understand a lot of them. Why flies? Hmm. I can imagine it was just someone's side project. <laughs> okay, so I thought, okay, we need something really creepy. I know, half human, half fly. Why not go half wasp? Because that would be fucking creepier. Especially if it changed like the skin tones in that. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't suggest half B because that'd be kind of fucking pointless. We get mm. die. We can't even kill you, but we also die right afterwards. It's like, ha! Wait, that was bad. Boom. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll wait. No scuttling noises. So that's a good sign. <laughs> yeah. There's a taser battery back there. I will um, get it later. Yeah. Probably get it later after we drop off this power thingy. Yeah. Just because it's a nitro compound, I'm just reminded of the alo alo joke. Yeah, the nitroglycerin thing. <laughs> yeah, the nitroglycerin in the balls, and Rennie's being very careful with it. Yeah. Rest in peace, you glorious bastard. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I know it needs fuel. I'm giving it to you. <laughs> oh, wait, this isn't the bit. I need to put it in, I remember. <laughs> Damn it. That's just the console to turn it all on. Yeah. Where is the bit where we need to put it in? It's just slightly, slightly back that we became. Okay, at least it's not too bad. Yeah. This place is a maze, so if you'll forgive me. Well, Ryan and I definitely will. If we ever get an actual viewer base, we come back and watch this. I highly doubt they will, though. There's like some guy who's like memorized every single bit of this game and can speedrun it in like half an hour, just like gritting his teeth, going, I can't believe it! How'd they do this? How are they so terrible? <laughs> yeah, well, that's the entire point of our channel. We're just three idiots bumbling around. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I have the reason why I don't edit it much. <laughs> and if those. And if those jackasses can't understand that, well, they're idiots. Yeah. I mean, hell, I think, like, the only bits of this thing I've edited, I say, is from divvying up into, like, ten-minute segments, because we've not got an intro or anything yet, mm -hmm. mainly because we're all too lazy to work on it, Yeah. was one bit in the very first Resident Evil recording session, mm -hmm. where you told me to edit something out, so I edited a bit out where it was where I started what I said, mm -hmm. and then just before you said, Michael, edit this out. So it's this mm -hmm. tiny bit with no audio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because of how we record. <laughs> oh, that was worth it. <laughs> and now to turn the power back on. I can't even remember what I was talking about. Me neither. Did you ever look at that, um, was the free music thing I showed you ages ago? Uh, I had a quick look at it, but, um, it was sort of thing of, I had a look at it, listened to a couple of bits, and then went, I wonder how much this guy's done, and saw page upon page upon page of things, and then thought, Well, I just meant there's lots to choose from. <laughs> and I thought, oh, there's a lot to choose from. Ryan, it's now your job to try and sort through some of it. <laughs> You're part of this channel as well, find some examples. Yeah, I'd like to hey, some, I wasn't too sure power. what you mean to bring them. There was a guy who, um, in the comments, said that it's like he's doing free music, so if we're ever worried about copyright, we can go to his channel to get some. So, can't remember your name, dude. Um, oh, thank you, that was nice of you. <laughs> if, if, if I look it up before the next session, I'll make sure to mention you in that video, and say your name. But, thank you, you're very kind, and... We'll make sure to check you out when we need music. <laughs> right now, though, we can't be bothered doing anything. Right now, we're just kind of busy. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is a very important part of uni for us at the moment. Yep. Two of us are doing the honors here, one of us has a job. Mm. Let's see if there's anything else we need to do. These sessions are going to become a lot harder to organize when all three of us get jobs. <laughs> yeah. Probably turn into like once a month and even yeah, like we cannot record near as often, so we're just gonna record a lot in one day. Yeah. That could work. I think that's a lot of like um Darth Light players do. Yeah. So I know um I'm pretty sure Geek Remix, the both of them have like full time jobs, so they do I think their records like every twice a month or something. We could probably manage that if three of us get jobs or something similar. <laughs> Just check. And there's one that's hilarious. Yeah. But I want them so bad to do Outlast 2. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes out, because they did Outlast 1, that was just so funny. <laughs> yeah. I'll just quickly go back down to Chris's bit in case we need to do anything else there. Yeah. Hi, Chris. <laughs> oh, did you see that Kagato also is um, doing Resident Evil 7? Oh no, I haven't seen that yet. Oh uh, yeah, I've watched a few Has he even finished doing Persona 4 Golden yet? Or he's is he still just like, slowly making his way through that? I he's still making, he's done a few for them as well, a few Persona videos, and then he also is doing Resident Evil 7. I liked what he did was like, because he'd already done Persona 4, so he thought, what can I do to make Golden interesting? So he very much just edits in like, bits of the anime, as like, him as how he envisions the character. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oops. Got it wrong room. Like that bit where it's like the girls are showing off the swimsuits. Okay, they're in swimsuits. They're nervous. We need to calm them, make them feel better. Better. Take it away, brain. They'll be too hot to handle. What the hell, brain? <laughs> <laughs> eh, that was kind of awesome, that bit. <laughs> Okay, Chris, you got anything for me? It's locked. <laughs> Evidently, no, we don't need to do okay. anything here. I'm actually more concerned about the fact that there's electricity cables poking out of an air vent I and know. they're sparking. <laughs> yeah, major safety hazard, but mm -hmm. it's Umbrella. <laughs> umbrella, what happened to the health and safety inspector? I think he's, he, I think he's the zombie in containment room four. Probably. <laughs> so you have to find a way to get his doors open. Well, I think we all know how to get open. I think there's only one way to get that door open. Mm -hmm. And that involves going pretty much endgame. Oh. Yeah, there's one, there's one more door we could try, which is an elevator. Because I think I know where the key is to that bit, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay. You gotta love that pedantic thing of you couldn't just have a genuine interact with the elevator area thing. Mm -hmm. No, you have to go and specifically choose the button. Jill. Oh, that was bad. Barry. That's nearly as bad as used to wait it up. No. Let's go. You told us to go on ahead, you prick! <laughs> oh, by the way, if I Chris, <laughs> he's down there. That's a point. She you think you didn't mention it. <laughs> Maybe you're not meant to have ran into Chris at this point. Like she hasn't really mentioned all the other dead members of stars to stumble across, so now she's just for forgetting. <laughs> <laughs> memory of a goldfish. Yeah. Well, memory of a goldfish stereotype, since apparently goldfish actually have very good memories. <laughs> it's just a saying that got propagated and just became sort of pop culture in a sense. 